Hi, this is uh, Paul Bowerman of Bowerman 939 of the Brigham Key Company. And I, I just want to show you something really cool. I don't know if you can see this or not. But um, what I did is I went and picked some yucca out at, uh, uh, it's called uh, Maze Ranch. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about is I've been reluctant to make videos for a while because... <clears throat> It's always some jerk that's putting some smart aleck remark on the comments, and I read all of them, and I know what you're saying, and I know that I'm a hick, and I know you're not telling me anything that I don't already know. I know that I'm a hick. I know that I, you know, I'm I'm not uh, uh, television fancy or whatever. I'm just a country boy that knows some tricks that I can teach you a lot of stuff. You'll be patient with my videos. I'll show you how to do things. And, uh, I, you know, there's no reason to put snide remarks. What's funny about the snide remarks are is usually it's some person that when you go to his channel, he, he has, has nothing that he's done for society. He's just making, going around making snide remarks on everybody else's videos. Uh, nine times out of ten, that's the case. Anyhow, let's move on here. So, this yucca has been dried for about two weeks. So you cut yucca when you find it. You can put these in your backpack, let them dry, dry clear out, and then once you got the water and you need to make some fishing line or something, you just pull the pull the things up and put them in the water. And it, there's kind of like two separate. Uh, parts to a yucca plant. There's the long stringy pieces that come off from the inside here like this and see how it is and, and just put it in water. Now I've put some in water and got it soaking and I want to show you how to start the process of, uh, of, uh, of making rope out of yucca or making twine out of yucca. So, <clears throat> what I have here is the uh, the twine. It's the long. See how long the the uh, strands of yucca are. And what you need is basically just two two lengths of it, about like this. And all you do is tie an overhand knot in the end of it. This. A basic overhand knot and uh, so you have two try to get two strands the top strand you t twist clockwise and you can twist it several times and then you reach around with the bottom finger right here and turn the whole thing counterclockwise so it goes clockwise counterclockwise Clockwise, counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise. You just keep, you can get pretty fast at it. And you turn this, spin this upper piece quite a few times if you want to and grab the lower piece and pull it around. See, getting in. Then your left hand holds it twist so it's clockwise counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise okay so let's say you're going along and you've made a big long piece out of this and you want to add some more in which I've got a piece I made here for just a few seconds See how long a string this is. So let's say I don't know if you can tell this or not, but there's a thick end of the yucca and a thin end of the yucca. And the thin part goes where you're getting ready to tie in at. So here's one I've tied it getting ready to tie in, and there's I can let's say I've got a strand that's kind of thin. I can add another piece 
and I turn it all clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise. And now I've added this other piece in. As you can see it's quite long now. And I just keep going like this forever. And I make this this as long as I possibly want to or need to. And here's the here's the other side of it. And I just twist it in clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise. This is a excellent way to make twine. And you this this method you can use any stringy substance. I'm just happen to use yucca because it's relatively available in this area. Anyhow, this is Paul Bowerman of Bowerman 939 of the Brigham Tea Company. Thanks for watching. I appreciate positive comments. And I don't appreciate negative comments, especially if they have foul language in it. If it has foul language in it, I don't mind some criticism. If you're using foul language on my comments, I will get rid of it. I don't want it. I don't need it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.